Good day, everyone. How are you today? My name is Akande Jeremiah, your grade math teacher. The topic before us is triangle. And before we go to the definition of triangle, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define triangle. Number two, you should be able to mention types of triangle. And number three, you should be able to state the properties of triangles. A triangle is a plane of flat shape that has three sides and three angles. You can simply say a triangle is three-sided figures or a figure, flat figure that is bounded by three lines. And a triangle usually have three angles. And look at the types of triangles. Number one, we have equilateral triangle. Number two, we have isosceles triangle. And number three, we have right angled triangle. And number four, we have the scaling triangle. The number one is the equilateral triangle. You can see the diagram here. Then look at the properties. That is, when you see an equilateral triangle, you should be able to identify it anywhere. An equilateral triangle has the three sides equal and the three angles equal. As it is written here, all the three sides are equal. The number two, all the three angles are equal. And it has three lines of symmetry. Meaning that these are the angles, and each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60. And when you add it together, it gives you 180. That brings me back to tell you that the sum of angles on a triangle is 180. So when you add this together, it gives you 180. It has three lines of symmetry, meaning that you can fold it three times. Then number two, the isosceles triangle. The isosceles triangle has two of its sides equal. So that takes us to the properties of isosceles triangle. The two of its sides are equal. These two sides here. An isosceles triangle has two base angles. The two base angles are equal. These are the two base angles. It has one line of symmetry. That you can only fold it once. That is all. These are all the properties of an isosceles triangle. The next one is right-angled triangle. You can see the diagram. You can even explain the properties. This is a line going down, which is vertical line. This is horizontal line. And they are perpendicular. And it forms a right angle. A right angle is equivalent to 90 degrees. And there is a long side of it facing the right angle. Let's look at the properties. One of its angle is 90 degrees, which is this square in nature. Two of then the third type of triangle is the scaling triangle. If you look at this diagram very well, you discover that this figure has three sides, but all the three sides are different. And this one as well, all the three sides are different. So this triangle has its three sides different and the three angles different. 
Whatever you have here is different from what you have here, and it's different from what you have here. That is why this symbol, you can see it. This is one, this is two, this is three, and the same thing applicable to this. So before we go to the assignment, we'll discuss triangles today. And we said a triangle is a plane figure with three sides and three angles. And I've seen the various types of triangle we have. We'll have a collateral triangle. We'll have a isosceles triangle. We have right-angled triangle, and we have scaling triangles. So before we go, we take these assignments. Number one, mention any three types of triangles. Number two, state three properties of a named triangles. I hope you enjoyed the lessons.